It's interesting when you look at the control of chemotherapy-induced emesis that um, really as uh, our treatments have gotten better, we have seen that the control of vomiting exceeds the control of nausea. And uh, we've made progress in both, but we've made a great deal of progress in the control of vomiting and significantly less in the control of nausea. You know, if you go back to the basics, the famous textbook of uh, uh, Zachary Cope in looking at the diagnosis of the acute abdomen, he describes anorexia followed by nausea followed by vomiting. And so it may be that these three phenomena share some same receptor sites or some same neuropharmacologic pathway, but they're not mutually uh, entirely the same. So it may be that inhibiting fewer sites um, such as the serotonin pathway, such as the NK1 pathway, may come close to eliminating vomiting for many people. It will help in the control of nausea, but it's not enough. And there may be many other sites as well.